Dorothy and the children, your mother, your brothers, your sisters, cousins, let us keep trusting in God. Because in due time, we will get peace. And this is the peace that surpasses all human understanding. May Patrick rest in peace. We are all represented. We love you and we'll come to your home after this. May God bless you. Amen. Mwakilishi wa serikali. God is good. And all the time, and that is his nature. Uh, first of all, I would like to take this opportunity. Nipatiane Rambi Rambi Zangu, kwa familia. Yabu wanagetuko. Na wale wote ambao walikuwa na mjua. Either relatives or friends. Anybody who knew, pati getuko. On behalf of my family and on behalf of the entire government of Kenya, as you have all heard about him, I don't want to speak much because much has been said about him. But all that has been said about him is that he's a go-getter. Is that this is a person who was working with everybody to end betterment our lives and the lives of this country called Kenya. Huu ni mtu ambao alijitolea kwa hali na mali kuhakikisha wananchi wa Kenya wanaishi vizuri zaidi ya vile wanaishi dakika hiyo. He was a brother to me. Na alinifundisha mambo mengi sana because tulifanya naye kazi kwa karibu zaidi. So nikiongea hivi bado hata mimi sijaamini lakini tunaomba Mungu atupatie neema ya kukubali na kutouliza maswali kwa nini huyu kwa nini huyu kwa sababu Mungu haulizwi maswali atupatie neema ya kutouliza hayo maswali kwa sababu Mungu anafanya yale ambao anapenda I would like just to leave the family with few verses of the Bible because much has been said and our tribute, we had written a tribute as a lemelepo, and it's going to be given to the family. But personally, I would like just to leave everybody with um, Psalms 34, 18, which says that the Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves the lives of those, and, and, and saves who that are crushed in spirit. So family, God is close to you right now more than ever in your lives. Namtendelea kuwa na yeye kila wakati. To the family also, I would like you to go and read at your own time. John chapter 14 verse 1 to 4. Especially Dorothy, the loving wife that it's written that I am leaving you with a gift. And this gift is peace of mind and heart. And the peace I give you is a gift the world cannot give. So don't be troubled or afraid. These are the words that Patrick is telling you, that he's leaving you with a gift and peace of mind. Thank you so much. May God bless you. Apologies. Uh, before I finish, you saw the president spoke yesterday about the new trend.
we are in the third wave of COVID-19. So, dear brothers and sisters, I can see the way we are seated. Thank you so much to the organizers and the leadership of this church. Everybody, Akona Barakoa, social distance is there. We have washed your hands outside there. Please maintain the same, even as we go home. I know home, we shall have limited space. So, when gine wetu ambao si wa familia, ningeomba na mnahi. Kama tunaweza kukubali tu, tumalize na tumuage dugu yetu Patrick, hapa kanisani. Diposa tunapuenda pale nyumbani tusukwe na msongamano mwingi wa watu. Ambao labda wengi wetu tunamuza kuambiwa, tukai kando kidogo, Patrick alikuwa ni mtu organized, hakuwa ntaka mambo kama yale. So ningeomba, those ones who will not be able to go home, please, muate tu, na muoge Patrick hapa, ili tukifika pale nyumbani tusongomane, sababu semu ni kidogo, na mnajua sheria zilitoka jana. Kwa hivyo tunafaa kuwa, tunazipliment siku ya leo. Lakini vile tumekapa kanisa ni na shukuru sana muongozo wa hii kanisa. Tuendelea na mna hiyo. Thank you so much. Asante sana. Sasa tuko katika awamu ya mwisho. Naomba msamaha kama nitakosea wengine. For the written tribute, nitaita the immediate family only. Our dear sister and mom, Dorothy, and the children. Our brothers, sisters, kindly pardon us. We are doing all this because of time. As antenna. As our kati hu. Naomba. Uita mama etu mpendwa. Wale. Na mama skola. Mani si mama skola. Mama. Mama Dorothy. Life isn't about waiting for the phone but it's about standing down in the With a melody, our favorite song, Oshio Ne Jesu Murodiwad Duda, will always be a family anthem. Kati, you are a God-fearing man, a great father, a great teacher, whose integrity led so many uh, to the right path. This is my greatest pride as a mother. He played friend so, so easily and was true to, mm -hmm. to each and every one of them. He supported them, guided them, and made them happy. Uh, he made me really happy. Nothing comes close to how proud I am of you as a person. 
how proud I am of how you live your life. You chose to, li to live with faith, live it with uh, laughter and with love. You shared your life, your life with anyone who's, who was who was again, who was open and really to enjoy the simple things in life with you. Your legacy will be carried on my, by my daughter, Mama Mercy, and my grandchildren. We will remember your great deeds as your family and countless strength. You have left behind the countless many whose lives are forever changed because of you. So, so sickness, uh, sickness can never take that away. Rest in peace and never, never stop dancing in the rain. It's all good, my son. Love only. Kole ni sana kwa sababu kumacho hayao ni vizuri. Mamae to Dorothy. Nawa Toto. My father. My father was simply the best, the best. We have loved, played, worked out, and done so many other things together. I love him, and I'm sure that he loves me, and he has always been proud of having a great and only son in his life. I love the way he wanted to make his home green. And he really did make it the best. My dad was was a very wise, brave, strong, and hardworking man. I knew the and I knew he was preparing me for the future, to become a better son and strong, and a strong, brave boy. He didn't entertain weakness, laziness, and failure. Dad, I know you are watching over me, so I promise to make you proud and never to fail you, to work hard and overcome all my fears just as you encourage me to do. Too. You are the person who made the boy I am today and the greatest, uh, the great man I'm yet to be. I promise to keep mom safe and keep the smile you put on her face alive. My sister will always have a shoulder to lean on and everyone else. I will offer my support just like you did. I love you, Dad, and I'll always do.
that that's just someone to look up to follow admire be proud of hold and cry with learn from respect listen and talk to sometimes with elegance and most of all with whom you share everything this wonderful life has to offer we are incredibly grateful and happy that we can stand here today and tell you that we have had all this and much much more with our dad patrick to say we loved dad will be an understatement and to say we are going to miss him will be an even greater understatement dad was always there for everyone family neighbors colleagues and friends dad was always there for mom and made sure she knew she was the queen of his heart we have watched them share everything life can offer together they were a great team supporting each other in every way we are lucky to be beneficiaries of their love for each other through dad chris definitely knows how he will need to treat his woman when the time comes to us his daughters to set a bar for what to look for in a man dad was a very clever hard working man compassionate towards everyone and deserved the success and rich life that he enjoyed he taught us many many things but most importantly He gave us the ability to know that if you really put your mind to something anything is possible and never to be afraid to give anything a go. Nobody can be perfect, but dad was as close to being the most perfect dad anyone could have. We have shed we can shed tears that he is gone, but we choose to smile because he lived We love you dad now and forever more. is the true measure of a man. It is by how much he loves, he gives, how selflessly he cares. Whatever he can to help others, how consistently he lifts up those around him with a kind word, a funny joke, a compliment, a humble leer, or the very shoes of his feet. That was truly an immeasurable man. I know the pain of living like that. It was so hard never to live up. I imagine it will feel the same as we process and get through it. But I don't suspect we will get over it soon. How can you? How can you get over a person who has been there since before you were even aware of yourself? His life, his influence, his energy is inextricably linked to ours. And we know that we now take comfort in knowing that that is no longer in peace. Suffering is no longer something we have to endure. That our mind still talks to you, our heart still looks for you, our soul knows your success. We lost you only in the physical, but still stronger, but still together in spirit. We love you that now and forever more.
My dad was not only a man of principles, a disciplinarian to the core, a loving father, a caring, playful, cheerful grandfather, a devoted husband, but one of the extremely intelligent man and most respected person I have ever known. From the first, from the very first day when I met him, he took me as his own son and made me feel part of his family from the very moment. Time spent with him was precious time in my life, my wife's life, and most importantly, grandson is my son's life. We were so fortunate to have him with us for all this time. He forever lives eternally within all of us. We will always remember him for the love, loving nature, strong personality, and the values he passed on to us. Praise the Almighty for his soul to rest. Patrick, my love. He always looked for me, after me, and made me feel safe. He is special, no matter where you are. And to all, and uh, no matter where we were, and who was around us, I may not remember all things. But your kindness is an image of me, forever cherished. I treasure, treasure, treasure everything about us, especially the time we are together, which I feel has grown by so deeply. You always had great close to me and our children. You taught me to, lo to live life, life. Our children's ability to make every, everyone feel comfortable, secure, and love. <laughs> 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 These are There has been over two decades since we were married. And I love, I look back over those years to so much happiness. I remember the first time I saw him tell to me, Sister Kari, the Lord became his little home from my feet. And I knew that was the man I wanted to spend the rest of my life. My heart bleeds for our time together. It will come short, but the happiness we share together will last a lifetime. I mourn you for two, my husband, best friend, soulmate, and my everything. But I would find comfort in knowing that I was loved by a man that would love me unconditionally and with no better I believe in God as good plan for me and the kids. He has promised never to leave me, nor forsake me, but I know all is going to be well. I'll miss you, my love. I'll find comfort in the best gift you have left behind. My children, they have a little part of you, very special, loving and caring. I promise to take care of you and to guide them in life like me. I'll do my best. Start on your grace to work in the church, a chiropact or a chiropractor to the That you are good in your heart and feet. But oh, maybe in heaven now. But I know he's looking down at us with a big smile on his face saying, fulfill your dreams. Take the best of life and I'll see something. We are what? To do hard work, the greatest husband and most honored friend. Santeni sana.
sasa tuandae mioyo yetu kwanza misa rasmi and to brothers and sisters of our departed brother patrick atuja wafungia tutawaita kabla ya kuondoka baada ya misa asanteni bye
kuhi familia yote ya Patrick marafiki father Mohori na father Boniface na wote ambao tumeweza kujumuika pamoja tumsifu Yesu Kristo basi karibuni katika ibara yetu ya misa wakati ambapo tunaendelea kumsindikiza Patrick ambaye amekuwa zawadi kutoka kwa Mwenyezi Mungu katika jamii zetu familia na majukumu mbalimbali ambayo tumekuwa nayo ili Mungu aendelee kumpokea katika ufalme wake kwa jina la Baba na la Mwana na Roho Mtakatifu Neema ya Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo na upendo wa Mungu Baba na ushirika wa Roho Mtakatifu viwe nanyi nyote. Ili tuweze kumtolea Mwenyezi Mungu sadaka iliyo safi na takatifu. Tukubali udhaifu wetu tumitishie msaada wake. Aendelee kutuimarisha ili kama vile Patrick alivyotufundisha. Kiwa DJ kuimba wimbo wa maisha katika maisha yetu tukawa na ushujaa na roho, o, o, roho mtakatifu wa kuendelea kuimba sifa na utukufu wa Mwenyezi Mungu katika maisha yetu na kuungamia Mungu Mwenyezi kwani nimekosa mno mawazo kwa maneno kwa vitendo na kwa kutotimiza wajibu nimekosa mimi Nimekosa mimi, nimekosa sana. Ndio maana na kuomba Maria mwenye heri, bikira daima, malaika na watakatifu wote, na ndugu zangu, niombeni kwa Bwana. Mungu Mwenyezi atuhurumia tsamaha dhambi zetu atufikishe kwenye uzima wa milele. Tuombe. E Mungu wewe utayari daima kuonelea huruma na kusamehe. Na muombea sana mtumishi wako Patrick uliyomuita kwako na kwa kuwa alikutumainia na kukuamini umfikishe katika inchi yake ya kweli na kufurahi milele. Naomba hayo kwa njia ya Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo mwanao anayeishi na kutawala nawe katika umoja wa Roho Mtakatifu Mungu daima na milele
somo katika kitabu cha hekima ya Suleimani Mwenye haki hata kama atakufa kijana atakuwa kwenye raha kwani uzee unaheshimika si maisha marefu wala haukupimwa kwa idadi ya miaka lakini kwa wanadamu busara ya pita mvi na maisha asiyo na mawaa ndio umri wa uzee kwa vile alivyompendeza Mungu alipendwa naye na huku akiishi kati ya, wako, ya wakosefu alihamishwa alichukuliwa ili ubaya upate kubadilisha ufahamu wake wala hila isidanganye roho yake maana mvuto wa ubaya kudhoofisha meema na ghasia ya tamaa kupotosha akili zilizo nyofu alitimiza siku nyingi muda mfupi akafikia utimilifu wa huduma ndefu kwani roho yake ilimpendeza bwana kwa hiyo akafanya hima kutoka kati ya uovu lakini watu waliona wasielewe wala wasitie moyoni mambo hayo kwani neema na rehema ni kwa watakatifu wote na ulinzi kwa wateule wake neno la Bwana somo la pili samahani kwenye kwenye zaburi Zaburi ya kusikizana Bwana ni mwanga wangu na wokovu wangu. Bwana ni mwanga wangu na wokovu wangu.
Somo la pili Somo katika barua ya mtakatifu Paulo kwa, kwa Warumi Ndugu hamjui kwamba sisi sote tulibatizwa kumshiriki Kristo Yesu Tumebatizwa tumebatizwa kushiriki kifo chake basi kwa njia ya ubatizo katika kifo tumezikwa pamoja naye ili kama Kristo alivyokukuliwa katika wafu kwa kumtukuza baba nasi tuishi maisha mapya ikiwa tumekufa pamoja na Kristo twasadiki kwamba tutaishi pamoja naye twajua ya kuwa baada ya kufufuka katika wafu Kristo hafi tena mauti haumwezi tena neno la Bwana Shangirio Wanaheri watu wanaokufa katika Bwana watapumzika taabu zao kwa maana matendo yao yanafuatana nao Bwana awe nanyi. Somo katika injili ilivyoandikwa na madhayo. Yesu alipowaona makutano alipanda mlimani na alipokuisha kuketi wanafunzi wake walimjia akafumbua kinywa chake akasema kawafundisha heri walio maskini wa roho maana ufalme wa mbinguni ni wao heri wenye uzuni maana hao watavarijika Heri wenye upole maana hao watairidhi nji. Heri wenye njaa na kiu ya haki maana hao watashibishwa. Heri wenye rehema maana hao watapata rehema. Heri wenye moyo safi maana hao watamuona Mungu. Heri wapatanishi maana hao wataitwa wana wa Mungu. Heri wenye kuudhiwa kwa ajili ya haki, maana ufalme wa mbinguni ni wao. Heri nyinyi watakapo washutumu na kuwaudhi na kuwanenea kila neno baya kwa uongo kwa ajili yangu. Furahini na kushangilia kwa kuwa thawabu yenu ni kubwa mbinguni kwa maana ndivyo walivyowaudhi manabii waliokuwa kabla yenu injili ya bwana
zangu katika Kristu tumekuja hapa siku ya leo kumzidikiza ndugu yetu Patrick ambaye Mwenyezi Mungu amemuita kwake kwa kusema kweli ni pigo kubwa sana kwa familia yake mama mzazi abaya yako hapa pamoja nasi bibi yake abaya yako hapa pamoja nasi watoto wake familia yake yote marafiki zake na kanisa hii kwa jumla na hasa CMA hili ni jambo kweli ya kusikitisha sana walakini tutalichukua kwa mapenzi yake Mwenyezi Mungu kwa unyenyekevu na taadhima nyingi na kusema Mwenyezi Mungu ametenda kuligana na uamuzi wake na mapenzi yake Mwenyezi Mungu mwenyewe ni mwenye huruma na msamaha na dipoza kweli tumejumuika umati huu wote mkubwa ili kumsidikiza na kumwobea Patrick Siku kama hii ya leo ni ya huzuni nyingi kilio kikubwa mno na mashugu mengi kwa sababu kweli yule abaye ametuasha ye mwenyewe tunamfahamu na tunamjua tumekusanyika kweli hapa Mshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwa zawadi ya maisha yake Patrick. Abaye alimtumikia Mwenyezi Mungu tangu alipoletwa katika kanisa la Mungu kwa ya ubatizo na maisha yake yote akajaribu awe zavyo kutekeleza mapenzi yake Mwenyezi Mungu katika maisha yake. Akajitolea mhanga kuajibika kama Mkristo. Japo kama hili likifanyika tunaona ni ushugu mwingi kweli. Walakini tunasherehekea tu vile vile. Tunaposema sherehe hatumaanishi tunalukaluka wala hatumaanishi kwamba tumesahau siko hili kubwa mno walakini ni kwamba huyu ambaye ameaga anauganika na mgu wake ni kwa sababu hiyo tunaisherekea na tukijua pia nasi siku moja tutaugana naye biguni kwa nyinyi ambao kweli mehusika zaidi mno familia yote kwa jumla mna mahangaika rohoni mwenu wasiwasi ni mwingi na dukuduku nyingi walakini matumaini yetu ni hii tu Patrick ametoka dunia hii na mtamuona tena biguni ni hivyo tu tunaweza kusema Hatuna maneno mwafaka. Aba tunaweza kusema kutulisa familia kama hii ambayo imepoteza mtu wao mpendwa mno. Mama imepoteza mtoto wake. Bibi amepoteza bwana yake. Watoto wamepoteza baba yao, ndugu na dada wamepoteza mpendwa wao mkubwa. Hatuwezi kupata maneno kweli ya kuatuliza. Lakini tunaoba tu, mpokee tu tukisema kwa hapa poleni mno The Lord is compassion The Lord is full of compassion and graciousness An occasion like this one is very sorrowful It is a moment of pain a moment of grief. We have assembled here 
today fundamentally to thank God most humbly for the gift of our departed brother, Patrick. Certainly, for this is an occasional morning, but similarly celebrating the life of Patrick, who has left this world to meet his creator as the Savior in heaven. In our grief, we turn to God, to whom mercy and forgiveness belong, to hear our prayers on behalf of his servant, pa Patrick. When death infames our family, our relatives, and our friends, we experience emptiness, frustration, bitterness, anger, fear, hurt, and helplessness. Yet with humility, we remain silent as we are humanly limited to question God. We cannot question the will of God. We cannot question the credibility of God in this matter. Sincerely speaking, we can hardly get the appropriate word to express our condolences to the family, the entire family, brothers, sisters, relatives. We cannot penetrate into your heart. We cannot. Your hearts are broken. We miss the word to take. We miss the one to tell you, the one to say. Yet prayerfully, we express our fraternal and intimate solidarity and closeness to all those present here who are spiritually meditating and praying for the soul of Patrick. We cannot describe, but we can only guess the broken heart of those who experience the death of a person they loved cordially, whom they treasured very preciously. Death is not only mysterious, but very threatening. It destroys our hopes, our dreams, and our expectations. But however painful it may be, we have to let it go. We have to let it go because we have no other ways. We have to accept with the confidence that this has happened. Pain if where it is, is the will of God. Importantly is to know that with all the pain it carries, death is a challenge to evaluate the meaning of this passing life with all its vanity and confusion. When we see the castle like that one here, we have to evaluate ourselves, our lives. We are living this world full of vanity, full of confusion. And we are all the candidate for the same journey. The sudden departure of Patrick from this world is very agonizing and regrettable. He has left this world as a tender age. He could have performed more. He had zero and determination. And he did whatever he did with a lot of diligence and accountability but he has left this world. However, confidently, we are consoled by the faith that his departure is not an end, but the beginning of a new life in the spiritual world, in the world of heaven. We are all on journey toward that. 
A moment like this one also reminds us ourselves. This is this we cannot negotiate about death. It's obsolete. It must be. He has vanished from this physical world, but his soul has closed into the realm of heavenly blessings, heavenly joy. Joy to know that. That we shall leave the world, but there is a promise of a new start in the internal life. We should be happy for that. This is not the first time to experience a situation like this one. And it's not the last. But our hope and our happiness, our consolation and our comfort is that there is internal life. He has passed through the dark door of death into the light of internal life. When we leave this world, there's a lot of agony. But you get really, we cry not because we like crying, te shedding tears, but because somebody has left us. But yes, we move slowly and slowly. We come to our own realization that Patrick is somewhere else enjoying the internal life. God has promised internal life and the abundance of life. And during this Eucharistic celebration, we pray that the divine mercy of our Lord may grant Patrick the privilege of participating in that promised promise heavenly feast. Patrick, today we say on his behalf, quoting Prophet Job, that it is true, my body will decay, but my eyes, my spiritual eyes will see God. My spiritual eyes will see God. That's what Patrick will say. Patrick, just like us, he experienced weakness and human limitation. He experienced challenges and frustration Temptation is sorrow, up and down, mistake and failures. He was a human being, just the way I am myself. Nevertheless, with the courage and the determination, he remained faithful to his Christian obligation. Nobody who can stand here and claim your own perfection. Before God, we are sinners. We are limitless. But our hope is that God is merciful. Despite trials and obstacles, even the last time of his life here in the world, Hear the problem, I'm sure. He stood firm to his own faith as a Christian. Just like us, he was not an angel, he was a human being. But we are consoled now today by the one we have learned from St. Paul, 
Philomans. Christ died for us, sinners. Justified. Not because we are good, not because of our own performance, but because of the immense love and the compassion of God. Those who have died with Christ, they live with Christ. In our first letter, first reading today from the Book of Wisdom, we see that those who are righteous, they are promised the eternal life. That's the reason why we are asking the Lord to grant that eternal life to Patrick. But also we read from the letter of Philippians, Paul giving us an assurance of Christ that Christ will change our body, which is mortal body. Mortal means decaying body. The body which can corrupt to immortality, to the eternal life. With profound conviction, we believe that Patrick, he received holistic Christian formation as a Christian. I'm sure a person like that who was always in the house of God could not have failed to contemplate carefully on the message we have just read today from the gospel, the beatitude. Heli mwenye heli, heli mwenye hurma, heli mwenye msamaha, heli, all this. A Christian cannot feel to have realized at least one beatitude. I'm sure Patrick has done it. I'm sure Patrick persuaded himself and it is spotted faithfully to all that message recommended with the word of God, the word of Jesus Christ. We trustingly ask God and without, we are asking God today, and without, we are not clinging to the merit of Patrick. No. Uh, we are not telling God Patrick was good. No, no, no. Even when my time comes, I don't want people to say I was good. But I want people to say, you are mercy, you are mercy, you are mercy. So we are not cling on what Patrick did. He did, automatically he did. But who can justify himself or herself before God? David says, if we we'll scrutinize our sins, who can stand before you? Patrick cannot stand before God and claim his perfection. But similarly, we depend on the mercy, on the gratuitous graciousness of God. Gratuitous means given without basing on our merit. That is what we are here for. And that is the reason why you decided that Patrick should be brought in the house of God. We are asking God today with all humility, accept Patrick, not because of what he is. Allow him to pass. Allow him to pass. That is what Moses told God at Mount Sinai. When the Israelites committed this very serious sin before him, Moses did not argue with God, telling him they have sinned, they are good, they can be this. Moses just depended and argued with God 
cling to the mercy of God. Forgive them. Forgive them. Meditating very seriously that one day we have to leave behind this world. We have to part away with our joys, to part away with our material possession, with our ambitions and the desires, with our dreams and expectations. Some of these dreams, flimsy presuppositions. We should accept the call of amending ourselves Realizing that one day we shall be the way Patrick is here now today. With the humility then we need to suppress our pride and our self-centeredness. Our own selfishness. Seek reconciliation with God and solidarity with the others. The family, our brothers and sisters, the loss is heavy. Very heavy indeed. But the consolation that comes from God is greater. A time like this one, you have to surrender yourself into the hands of God. I'm sure many people are here. They have buried their, their parents, their sons, their daughters, their fathers, their wives, their husbands. They are here, people. They experience a lot of bitterness on that occasion. But what better than to say, God, you have done what you want. May your name be glorified. The ones said by St. Bernard are very important for Patrick. Bernard said, I've sinned greatly. My conscience is in trouble. But I do not despair when I look at the wood and meditate and I, when I remember the woods of Jesus Christ on the cross. What does that mean? Yes, I'm a sinner. But Jesus died for me. With that they are the assurance of internal life. So now nothing said the same. If the day I see the sun rising from the east and the setting on the west, and I know I'm growing closer and near, closer, closer to the end of my life, to that day when I will stand before God. I feel timid, a lot of fear, but I hope because I believe God will have mercy on me. The same case to Patrick. As I have come to end, we cannot also fail to remember those beautiful ones, said by musicians. That many of these people here, they know him. He was an American musician. But he said wonderful things, Jim Lee. When he says, I'll cross the bridge. Can you sing, you people, if you can remember? Can you? i cross the bridge. 
I close the bridge, there is no more sorrow. The sun will shine, of course, forever. And there will be no unhappy again. That's what Patrick is hoping for that. Finally, as we continue to glorify the Lord and to ask him to accept the departed soul of our brother, Patrick, we humbly and faithfully cling to the intercession of the mother of Jesus and ask her, allow Patrick to see your son. Allow Patrick to see your son. May eternal life be granted on Patrick. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Simame to Sali. Mungu Mwenyezi tunaendelea kukushukuru kwa neema na baraka zako. Tunakushukuru kwa zawadi ya kila mmoja wetu. Na kwa njia ya kipekee tunakushukuru kwa zawadi ya maisha ya Patrick ambayo uliweza kutujalia tuweze kuishi na yeye ameweza kuguza maisha ya watu wengi na ni kwa ajili ya kukutumainia wewe kukuamini wewe tunakuomba tuweze kuiga mfano huo wa kujiweka tayari ili uweze kututumia tukawa vyombo ambavyo vinashuhudia upendo na nguvu zako hapa duniani e bwana tuwakuomba mtakaze na madoa yote ya dhambi na kumpokea katika ufalme wake wa mbinguni. E Bwana, tunakuomba utusikie. Uyakamilishe ndani yake uliyoanzisha katika ubatizo wake. E Bwana, tunakuomba utusikie. Umtuze kwa mema yote aliyowatendea wenzake katika maisha yake duniani. E Bwana, tunakuomba utusikie. Uwaturize na kuwafajiri wote waliofiwa na na wanaohuzunika kwa ajili ya marehemu wetu. Eh Bwana, nakuomba utusikie. Utupe moyo wa kujiandaa kila wakati kwa ajili ya kukutana nawe kwa ajili ya kifo. Eh Bwana, nakuomba utusikie. Uwe hakimu mwenye huruma kwa marehemu wote na kuwarudishia tuzo kwa mema yao. Eh Bwana, nakuomba utusikie. Eh Mungu, ulie makimbilio na nguvu yetu ulie asili ya wema wote usikilize sala za kanisa lako urejele ili hayo tunayoomba kwa imani tuyapate kweli kwa njia ya Kristo bwana wetu tumsifu Yesu Kristo Nachukua nafasi hii kuarika kwa kutoa sadaka acha tusaidie wageni wetu kuonyesha pahali masanduku yetu yako karibuni na pia acha zimue na sanitizer kishaweka alafu na weka sanitizer asanteni
Tusali familia ya Kristo ili sadaka yetu ikubaliwe na Mungu Baba Mwenyezi. Wanapokea sadaka mikononi mwetu kwa sifa na utukufu kwa jina lake. Na pia kwa manufaa yetu sisi na manufaa ya kanisa lake la watakati. E Bwana tunakutolea kwa ibada dhabihu hizi kwa ajili ya mtumishi wako Patrick apate kuokoka na kwa kuwa hakutia shaka kwamba mwanao ndiye mwokozi mwema tunaomba amfikie na kumuona yeye hakimu wake mwenye huruma na tunaomba haya yote kwa njia ya Kristo Bwana wetu Bwana we nanyi Inueni mioyo Tumshukuru Bwana Mungu wetu Kweli ni vema na haki tukushukuru daima na popote E Bwana Baba mwema Mungu mwenyezi wa milele kwa njia ya Kristo Bwana wetu yeye ndiye uokovu wa ulimwengu, uzima wa watu na ufufuko wa wafu. Kwa hiyo majeshi ya malaika wanaabudu utukufu wako, wakifurahi milele mbele yako. Nasi tunaomba sauti zetu ziungane nao tukise, tukisema kwa shangwe. E Bwana kweli mtakatifu na kila kiumbe kilichoumbwa na kinakusifu kwa haki. Maana kwa njia Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo mwanao na kwa uwezo wa Roho Mtakatifu unatia uzima na kutakaza vitu vyote wala huachi kuwakusanya watu kwako ili to kama hiyo ajua hata machuo yake wakutolee sadaka safi. Basi tunakusihi e Bwana uzibariki dhabihu hizi tunazo kutolea. Upende kuzitakaza kwa roho wako ili zigeuke kuwa mwili na damu ya mwanao bwana wetu Yesu Kristo aliyetuamuru tuadhimishe mafumbo haya usiku ule alipotolewa e mwenyewe alitoa mkate akakushukuru akakutukuza akaumega akawapa wafuasi wake akisema Tuaeni mle wote huu ndio mwili wangu utakaotolewa kwa ajili yenu. Yeah. 
Vivyo hivyo baada ya kula akatoa kikombe akakushukuru akakutukuza. Akawapa wafuasi wake akisema Toeni mnyo wote hiki ni kikombe cha damu yangu damu ya gano jipya milele itakao mwagika kwa ajili yenu na kwa ajili ya wengi kwa maondoleo ya dhambi fanyeni hivi kwa kunikumbuka mimi Tangaze fumbo la imani. Kwa hiyo e bwana tunapokumbuka mateso ya huyo mwanao na kufufuka na kupaa kwake mbinguni tunapongojea na kuja kwake mara ya pili tunakutolea kwa shukrani sadaka hii yenye uzima na utakatifu tunakuomba uiangalie na kuikubali sadaka ya kanisa lako uliotaka kutulizwa nayo utujalie sisi tunaulishwa mwili na damu ya mwanao tujazwe na roho wake mtakatifu ili tuwe mwili mmoja na roho moja katika Kristo. Yeye atufanye sisi tuwe kwako sadaka ya milele ili tuweze kupata urithi pamoja na wateule wako. Bikira Maria mwenye heri mama wa Mungu, Yusufu mume wake na mitume na mashahidi wako wenye heri na watakatifu wote ambao ndaima wanatuombea kwako Tunakuomba Bwana sadaka ya kutupatanisha nawe ile tamani loko duniani kote Uimarishie kanisa lako imani ya wapendwa hapa duniani Yaani mtumishi wako baba mtakatifu wetu Francisco askofu wetu Yohana maaskofu watumishi wako wote pamoja na taifa lako lote usikilize kwa ema sala saa jamaa hii hiyo hapa mbele yako e baba mwema kwa huruma yako kwa kuzanya kwa wanao wote waliotanyika popote duniani mpokee mtumishi wako Patrick uliyemuita kwako kutoka dunia hii na kwa kuwa alishiriki kifo cha Kristo kwa ubatizo umjalia shiriki vile vile ufuko wake na siku ya ufuko Kristo atafananisha mili yetu na mwili wake mtukufu pia wapokee katika ufalme wako ndugu zetu marehemu na wote waliaga dunia katika hali ya neema nasi tunatumaini kujawa na utukufu milele katika ufalme wako ndipo utakapofuta mashozi yetu yote kwa maana kwa kukuwa na wewe mguu wetu kama ulivyo tutafanana na wewe milele yote tukikusifu bila mwisho tujalie hayo kwa jina Kristo bwana wetu aliyasili ya neema yote kwa njia yake pamoja naye na ndani yake wewe Mungu Baba mwenyezi katika umoja wa Roho Mtakatifu unapata heshima na utukufu wote daima na milele. Na sasa kwa imani tusali ile sala aliyotufundisha Bwana wetu. Baba yetu uliye mbinguni. Ufalme wako ufike utakalo lifanyike duniani kama mbinguni utupe leo mkate wetu wa kila siku tusame makosa yetu kama tunavyosamea na sisi wale tukosea usitutie katika kishawishi lakini utuopoe e bwana tunakuomba utuopoe katika maovu yote utujalie kwa wema amani maisha ni mwetu utuepushe daima na, na dhambi kwa huruma yako sifadhaisho na jambo lolote Ngojea kwa matumaini kurudi kwake mkombozi wetu Yesu Kristo. 
kwa ufalme ni wako na nguvu na utukufu e bwana yesu kristo uliwaambia mitume wako na unaendelea kutuhakikishia sisi familia yako na waachieni amani na wapeni amani yangu tunakuomba uziziangalie dhambi zetu ila tu imani ya kanisa lako lijalia amani na umoja kama yalivyo mapenzi yako unaishi na kutawala daima na milele amani ya bwana iwe daima nanyi tutakiane amani ya kristo amani ya kristo Na huyu ndiye mwana kondoa Mungu aondoe dhambi za dunia. Heri yao walioalikwa kwenye karamu ya Bwana. E Bwana, sisa ile ingia kwao. Lakini sema neno tu na roho yangu itu. Mwili na damu ya Kristo vitulinda tupate uzima wa milele.
E Bwana nuru ya milele iwaangazie pamoja na watakatifu wako milele kwa kuwa wewe umu wenye huruma. E Bwana uwajalie raha ya milele na nuru ya milele iwaangazie pamoja na watakatifu wako milele kwa kuwa wewe umu wenye huruma. Tuombe. E Bwana Mungu wetu Mwanao ametuachia pamba ya njiani katika sakramenti ya mwili wake. Mjalie kwa wema wako huyu mtumishi wako Patrick. Afike kwenye karamu ya milele ya Kristo kwa nguvu ya chakula hiki. Na tunaomba haya yote kwa njia ya Kristo Bwana wetu. Um, tutaelekezwa Alafu baadaye tutaweza kuomba Father Boniface aweze kutupatia right ya kuweza kutusindikiza ili tukaweza kupata kwenda nafasi hiyo nyingine. Tumsifu Yesu Kristo. God is good and all the time Familia nzuri Kanisa nzuri Familia nzuri Familia nzuri wa Kristo Father Anthony Ndongo Father Muhori Father Boniface ningetaka kuchukua nafasi hii sekunde kidogo kabla hatujaanza zile sherehe za wana CMA ili kumwaga ndugu yetu niwapatie bwana JB na grupu yake nafasi kidogo tu waweze kumpatia buriani ndugu yake bwana JB dakika kidogo tu Uh, ndiyo tuweze kuendelea uh, JB anapojiandaa wanaume wote wa CMA wale wako commissioned wajiandae na kando zao ili JB akiondoka hapa na ndugu zake na dada zake tuweze kujumuika pamoja hapa mbele ili tumalize sherehe yetu ya mwisho uh, ya CMA ya ndugu yetu karibu bwana JB tumsifu Yesu Kristo um brothers and sisters walikuwa wameomba nafasi hii kwa ajili ya our late brother um, vile tu MC hajatuweza kutupatia nafasi ya kufanya tributes but uh, kuna nyimbo moja brother yetu Patrick alipenda sana kuimba kila wakati tunapojumuika pamoja angekosa kufanya sherehe ya hiyo nyimbo so nitamuomba sister Rebecca hapa mama na magi magi naambiwa hujaweza kufika hapa kama magi uko karibu tafadhali ndio tuweze kufanya hii nyimbo ada kwa dio roho mwendo wako ole awaje dile ona itamoe dere ada to ile jo to ne mehia Benjaro roya ngoma getu anga Oshone Jesu muruni ojuto Niwe jetu ni Nono yu ale kwale getu amba Oshawe wiki na wenye nyanaga Ya kere tara ta kwangi likomi Oh, she's a wicked, a wicked, a wicked, a wicked, a 
Ushia wiki nowe Patrick Kalonaga na nyarere kiria kumuona na nima akirite oidu iduo de twegoku aratasio sio de Patrick iduo de twegoku o hamwe na idu brothers and sisters uri arerire irie nikuo athieke tumukume Yesu Kristo yani kwa Kiswahili ni kusema um hiyo ua Patrick alio itazama na akaona kwamba kwa wale wote na kwa marafiki wake wote alikuwa anakaa hivi anatuambia tuimbe hiyo nyimbo hatukujua maana yake lakini wakati wa leo tunaweza tafsiri maana ya hiyo nyimbo na tukaiona Patrick alikuwa ni brother yetu alikuwa tunampenda sana ni mtu angefanya upende kitu hata kama ulikuwa ukioni vile kinafaa kuonekana akuambie hii ni log wewe unaiona log kama wewe ni makanika utaiona uchukue uweke nyuma ya roli isiende kama wewe ni mkamba unaweza iona utoe jirafu unaona lakini angekueleza maana ya kitu hata kama haupendi kitu uanze kukiona kikiwa ni tofauti tumsifu Yesu Kristo MC tunaomba wengine tupate somewa kitu kimoja ama mbili ili tuweze kuondoka kwa sababu Nitasoma tribute ya sisters Our brother embodied everything that is good and bright in this world He was amazing the best brother we could ever have hoped or asked for. The names that we used to call each other would like to call you second brother and you would call me a sister or wagas. 
if we had the guns, we could have pulled the trigger as a salute to you as a soldier because you de de deserve it. He was good friend to so many. He could be counted on and depended on always. Whether you needed a simple advice, an empathetic ear, a shoulder to lean on, compassionable silence, a listener, if all you wanted was to pass time like have, having a machoma buddy, he was your man, ready, steadfast, willing, and good fun. As we look out at the faces in the beautiful church today, we see many family members and friends, and we know that you too will miss the friendship that Patrick brought into our lives. I am sure you all will remember him in your very own special ways. We will remember our brother throughout the many people still left behind whose lives he touched so positively. Patrick, you may not realize it, but you leave an amazing legacy behind. Our sister Doty, three beautiful and handsome and brilliant children, they are your legacy. Through them, you leave this world a better place than when you found it. And for that, you have to be very, we are to be very proud. Our dear brother, we will miss you, but we will always remember you with respect, admiration, and love always, always. Fear thee well, Brother Pato, a.k.a. DJ Pato. Ante sana, sister. Now, tutampatia nafasi eh, Brother Moja, asome tribute for brothers. But before then, nagataka kusema, Patrick did an amazing job. Kwanza in uh, last uh, five or four months, he did his out of way when I was very, very sick. Na akachukua bibi yake, akakuja Mombasa kunitembelea. Akaniambia pana, hawezi kaa hapa nyumbani. Let's go to the hospital. We will get a better treatment. So he went out of his ways from Mombasa all the way to Kabazi when alienda kunitembelea babangu. Na akasema pana. Father is not feeling well. So whatever you are saying here today is not ni si story to mejitengenezea ama mejitengenezea. We really feel it as a, a family, as brothers and sisters. He has been a uniter and he has been going out of his way to do things which are beyond humanitarian uh, levels. Yes. Tumsifu Yesu Christo. Uh, before I also read uh, brother's tribute, I would like to say that I'm also a beneficiary of the uh, of the sacrifice that Patrick made in, as, uh, to us as a family, and the, also the philanthropy life that he had, because uh, I'm one of the people, I'm the children of Waverus, that uh, he has educated me together with others, and I am happy happy about that. Also, a small story. When uh, he saw he, he saw me in a certain corner, when I became of age, he saw me chatting, chatting a certain beautiful lady. And uh, as a father, I can eat a candle. I can be a eh. I can go on and on I can encourage. Today, she is my wife. And I'm happy about that because she encouraged me to get into married life. So I will uh, read uh, the tribute. Patrick, 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 DJ Patu. You have been an icon in our family. You have been a brother, a mentor, and an advisor to us. You have played a very big role in our success. Your stability carried all of us, including our sister, on board. 
You are an, an unlimited man when it came to a helping hand, advice, and mentoring issues. You are the front liner, liner to listen and give solutions. The biggest of all, you have been a motivator. Create and see it big. Your social life has been a blessing to us because your energy to do it to us and others has never left you behind. Surely, your gap is and will remain felt in us, but your goodwill still remains in us. We promise you we, to keep the fire burning. Fear thee well, Patrick. Thank you. Can you see? Thank you very much, uh, brothers and sisters of uh, Patrick. Uh, now we will go to the next uh, small ceremony, the burial rights of CMA. In this case, I want to request all CMA commissioned members to come here in front. We will make four lines, one line here, and another one behind, and another two on that side. We have candles. Uh, whoever has candles will distribute them. And then we will uh, sing the CMA anthem. And as we sing the anthem, uh, we will do a small ceremony to return the certificate and the badge. We'll hand them to the father in charge. And thereafter, the father in charge will hand them over to Chris. I think Chris should join us here because Chris, whenever the father was given a CMA ceremony, I used to find him there. I know he's, he has even got a CMA uniform. So please, let's light the candles, and then we distribute ourselves on the other side, and then ready to start the CMA National Anthem, Mlinde, Mlinzi Wake Maria. Wengine wanaiza tumia hi? Yes. Wengine waje upandi hi? Upandi hu? Ukiwa na mshumaa wako, uh, tulikuwa na mshumaa ya kutosha. Social distance, tafadhali. Social distance. Hakikisha ya kwamba, tujipange hapa. Kama tumeangalia, maali ndugu yetu amelazo. Wengine waje pandi hile, na wengine turudi nyuma kidogo. Christopher Songea Ukukumbele. Mlinzi hii wake Maria. Tutaongozo katika hii kwaya. Tuko na kwaya ambayo ilianzishwa na Patrick. Fatima Melodies. Kwa sasa hivi leo, tutaongozo wa kwa hui wimbo na Richard. Mlinzi.
Padri hizi ni zana za uwanachama cha CMA kutoka kwa marehemu kwa niaba ya wanachama ninaiomba zihifadhiwe kwa heshima Naomba Chris aweze kuzichukua na vile vile kuziweka kwa ajili ya ukumbusho wa baba yake. Naomba pia Mungu aendelee kumuandamana na yeye, kumjalia neema zake na upendo wake, akawa pia chombo cha kudhihirisha upendo na uwepo wa Mwenyezi Mungu si kwa familia tu lakini katika dunia mzima. Tumsifu Yesu Kristo. Asante sana kwanza sasa tunaelekea sehemu nyingine hizo zana zimekabidhiwa Chris because he's the one who is going to carry on with the family faith uh, since his father was depart departed uh, nitawaomba wana CMA waketi ili tuweze CMA iweze kusoma tribute yake kwa kwa Patrick alafu tutasoma sara ya Saint Joseph kwa sababu Patrick alikuwa uh, one of Saint Jeff Joseph's worker just uh, tutulie tutulie Uh, CMA Our Lady of Fatima tribute to Patrick As you travel the other part of the journey to heaven we shall miss you a lot your companion and encouragement that was synonymous during CMA activities your frontline role as a Catholic man was that of Joshua the contributions dedications and commitment were way beyond many of us you set a good example as a Catholic man by your support to the church and particularly the projects you listened and spoke courageously whenever it was right to do so we shall miss your presence and entertainment during CMA mass the way you used to do the psalms whenever CMA was admitting mass at our lady of fatima church in ongata rongai you are able to be near on every occasion that happened in CMA and other groups that was the commitment of a commissioned man and your commission was on 10th December 2017 who can ever forget Fatima Melodies a choir that you founded due to your desire to have men represented and taking part in that that God made every man to be you supported the church projects effort effortlessly the structures you have left behind shall forever speak your dedications and your love for God's work and a true follower of Saint Joseph the worker You go to heaven a commissioned Catholic man who did not have anything to block him from serving God. Your participation as a leader of several groups and committees in church was what gave many strength to believe in the almighty God. Your image was that of a disciple. Many were the occasions when you could be called upon to provide what many of us knew that with Patrick it is done. You never said no. Or I'm not ready. Patrick, a true Catholic man, go in peace. We meet again. Our Lady of Fatima, Ongata Rongai. Thank you. Oh, no. Wait, just hold on. We say the prayer of St. Joseph. George. to you O blessed Joseph we come in our afflictions and having implored the help of your most holy spouse we confidently invoke your patron Joseph 
through that charity which bowed you to the Immaculate Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and through the paternal love with which you embrace the child Jesus, we humbly beg you graciously to regard the inheritance which Jesus Christ has purchased by his blood. And with your power and strength, we aid us in our necessities. Do thou, faithful guardian of the Holy Family, grant that our spiritual family, all the members of our remnant Catholic community, shall ever be united in the bonds of faith and charity, and shall remain always of one heart, mind, and soul in the heart of Jesus and Mary. O most watchful guardian of the Holy Family, defend the chosen, Jesus, uh, defend the chosen children of Jesus Christ. O most loving Father, ward off from us every contagion of error and corrupting influence. O our most mighty protector, be kind to us and from heaven, assist us in our struggle with the power of darkness. And once you rescued the child Jesus from dead rebellion, so now protect um, uh, God's holy church from the snares of the enemy and from all adversity. Shield to each one of us by your constant protection, so that, supported by your example and your aid, we may be able to live peaceously, to die in holiness, and to attain eternal happiness in heaven. Lord, hear us. Okay, thank you very much. You can switch off the candle. Let's have a seat and continue with the other part of the Mass. Thank you very much. Kutoka hapa, tutasoma yuloji na tutasoma kwa lugha moja tu. Alafu tabariki jeneza, alafu baraka za mwisho. Wana CMA, tukitoka hapo, tukuje hapa, usindikishe mwili mpaka pale inje. Mwenye nasoma yuloji kwa lugha ya kimombo. Asante sana bwana wa mbogo after that tutapata mtu mmoja wa kurudisha shukurani mwenye kusoma eulogy wa home karibu sana bwana wa home kama mmevisikia nikiitwa naitwa Wahome a friend of the family ya Getukos. Ah uh, nitawasomea eulogy kwa Kiingereza. Bath. The late Patrick Getuko was born on the 3rd of February 1968 as the third born of the late uh, of the late Joseph Waweru Wambugo and Rebecca Waheto Waweru. He was a brother to Wambugo Stephen Margaret Mugore, the late Sabina Wanjiro, Kita Karioki, the late Salome Waiderero, Virginia Wanjiko, John Maveri JB, the late Teresia Wangoi. He was born at Nairobi County, Isli, and raised up at Nakuru County, Kabazi location since 1969. Education. Patrick started his primary education at Old Onyamara Primary School. In standard, in standard 4, 
He was transferred to the city primary school at Nairobi. He sat for his KCP for his, his CP in 1982. He passed and proceeded to Rongai Secondary School in Nakuru, where he sat for his O level in 1986. He then joined Walel High School, where he sat for his A level examinations in 1988. Finally, he did accounts at Strathmore College, now Strathmore University at Nairobi. His career. After doing his accounts course, he was employed in various companies such as Macho Credits, Electronics and Infotech, System Motors, and Villa Care. He later employed himself and started his own two companies, the famous Cyropark Limited, Philadelphia Sounds, where he has been working until his demise as a graphic designer and DJ, respectively. Matrimonial life. Patrick met his beloved wife Dorothy Mbive Ketuko in 1993, and they sacramentally formalized their marriage on the 4th of December 1999 at the St. Mary's Caesarean Parish. He also helped to complete his wife's college fees and assisted her finish the college education. They are blessed with three children, namely Masi Waheto, Sheila Mukenyi, and Chris Waweru. He is also survived by a son-in-law, Boab Muturi, and a grandson, Jimon Gesheha. Social life. Patrick invested in social life, which can be attested by various groups. Among others, one, Cora, who was founder member and organizing secretary, Lemelepo Community Development and Welfare Group, who was the organizing secretary, Rotary Club Ongata Rongai, founder member, Ten Max Limited, who was the founder member and director, Easier Welfare and Investment Group Founder, Director, and Treasurer, Kajiado Running Program, Land Cruiser Club Rongai Founder, Kuelel Alumni Group, Double Seven. Church. Patrick has received all the sacraments that a Catholic Christian ought to receive. He was baptized on the 2nd March 1968, a month after birth, at Lee, Nairobi. At Old Nyomara Church, now All Saints Parish, he received confirmation and first Holy Communion. On the 4th of December 1999, he received the sacrament of Holy Matrimony, and at his sick bed, he was anointed. At Nkoroi, St. Charles Luanga Catholic Church, he served as a chairman of St. Kizito Jumuia, and after petitioning, he was chairman of, the, of St. Catherine Jumuia. He was also chairman of the development committee of the church and liturgical committee member. At Our Lady of Fatima Parish Rongai, he was a commissioned member of an active member of the Catholic Men Association, choir patron, member of Our Lady of Fatima Jumuia, marriage counselor, and founder of Fatima Melodies. Sickness. Patrick started complaining of stomach problem on the 22nd of February 2021 after hiking Mount Longonot. He was rushed to Gallant's Hospital where he was treated and discharged. But his condition worsened a week later, after which he was taken to the Nairobi Women's at Rongai. After five days in hospital, his condition deteriorated, leading to his transfer to Nairobi Women's Adams Arcade, the ICU ward, for 12 days. In the process of treatment, he developed kidney and liver problems. Patrick succumbed on the 5th of March, 2021. Brother Patrick has gone to enjoy the eternal breeze after a well-lived life of 53 years. 
he has been survived by a widow, three children, and a grandson. Amen. Wada ni amu heke huruko geta viraga. Aro huruko horo. Pantene. Pombo gun chiotai. Tumsifi Yesu Christo. Gaine muega. Gaede shio de. Mimi nemeomba kusema shukran ama vote of thanks kwa sababu ya kazi njema ambayo imefanywa. Nikaona hapo ikirukwa sitakuwa na nafasi tena ya kuambia nyinyi wote asante kwa niaba ya familia ya Patrick na Dorothy na kwa niaba ya familia yetu yote ya mzee Joseph Waweru. Kwa hakika siku zetu e, ugonjwa wa Patrick umekuwa njia yetu ya msalaba. Sisi hatujaenda njia ya msalaba tangu Patrick awe mgonjwa. Kwa hivyo juma, juma, juma zote e, zinatukuta huku katika harakati hizi za ndugu yetu Patrick. Na nina sababu ya kushukuru Mwanzo ni kwa sababu Mwenyezi Mungu ambaye alituumba sisi sote amempatia dugu yetu Patrick miaka hiyo hamsini na tatu. Sababu ya sisi kuumbwa sisi hatujui lakini Mwenyezi Mungu aliona ni vyema aishi maisha ya hamsini na tatu miaka. Na kwa vile mimi naangalia hivi naona mkiwa wengi katika miaka hiyo yeye mwenyewe amejitafutia marafiki labda hawakufika elfu kumi ilivyo tamani yake katika wimbo e, na kwa sababu hiyo Mwenyezi Mungu akaona ni vyema ampatie hao marafiki wengi ambao wanatamani kwa njia zake hapa duniani na neema za Mungu alijitafutia marafiki ambao ni nyinyi Ingawa hawakufika elfu kumi vile alivyotarajia wale walioko wametosha kumpatia mazishi yanayofaa Kwa hivyo tunasema asante sana kwa Mwenyezi Mungu kwa sababu ya muda huo Na pia kwa sababu ya marafiki nyinyi Tunakumbuka kwamba alipokuwa hospitali na katika kupumzika kwake tuliwachwa na deni ya milioni mbili na mia nne. Na kulingana na vile tulielekeza hii safari pamoja na nyinyi hiyo deni tumeona tumeiweka chini siku ana sababu ya kushukuru ninyi nawauliza siku ana sababu ya kushukuru si nilikuwa nayo ndio maana nikaruka hapa mara moja nikaona ah, ikipita hapo sitaweza kusema hivyo so 2.4 million shillings hiyo tumeweka chini na tunashukuru sana 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 kwa sababu Patrick alijitafutia mazishi uh, marafiki ambao wamewezesha maziko yake I have already say thanks to all of you Mimi ni mkubwa katika hiyo familia baada ya kupumzisha baba yetu last November 
na nilikuwa na hofu wakati nilisikia my brother Patrick amelazo hospitali bill naona inaenda juu tena hatimaye nikaona amepumzika nikashindwa nitaanzia wapi na nitamalizia wapi but because of Patrick and the grace given to him by God alikuwa amejiwekea social welfare na social welfare hiyo ni nyinyi ambao mmejaa hapa na wengine ambao hawakuweza kufika hapa kwa hivyo ninasema asanti kwa marafiki wote wale walikuwa wanakutana Smith I was following and I was very very grateful through your chairman Ndome na kule pia nyumbani kulikuwa na committee iliyokuwa inaongozwa na bwana Ngei Dominic ambaye alikuwa mzazi wake wa kiroho katika ndoa ya Patrick na alikuwa katika hali hiyo mtoto wake wa kwanza so naona mzazi pia wa kiroho ametembea na Patrick hadi mwisho kwa hivyo tunasema asante sana kwa bwana Dominic pia nataka kuwashukuru wakina mama ambao walikuwa naendelea na shughuli zingine kule nyumbani za, ma, za, za kupika na hata sawa hii bado wako kule nataka kuwashukuru najua labda hawako hapa lakini wafikishieni shukrani zetu kwa kanisa pamoja na padri eh, fadha dongo walikuja kwetu tulisherekea misa i think it was on a wednesday or, th- or tuesday i don't remember now clearly lakini we are very very grateful to the church this is what i have to say to you because of journeying with my brother the journey of faith is one that is mysterious ever to the pope to the bishops and to everyone who is a christian we therefore need companion along the way you provided that to my brother and i'm very very grateful that the church here journeyed with my brother in this dark way of faith he was seeing the light because he was seeing you so thank you thank you very much the church here and the church at Inkoroi i'm very very impressed and great that this journey of faith without others it has it is full of fear though it is mysterious but you have shown it you have journeyed with my brother i am very grateful for that so to the church and father dongo and the rest please receive our grateful thanks for what you have done to my brother in the course of this journey's life kuna wao wengine ambao wanasahaulika kila wakati labda hawako hapa pia wale ambao walichimbua kaburi ya dugu yetu Tunasema asante sana kwa kujitolea kwao walikuja hapo na wakachimbua kulikuwa na mawe and they left it down so thank you kaburi yake kwa wale ambao wali struggle na yeye wakati alipokuwa hospitali that is the hospital staff ya graves nimesikia imeitwa something like that or gravel 